from SNA Libre. Today I will be teaching you how to make the zippy chain bracelet on your rainbow loom. Since Valentine's is coming up, I thought I would do Valentine's color for my bracelet. So I'll be using white for the border, red for these little raindrops right here on the side, and for my middle row, I'll be using pink. The materials you are going to need are three colors rubber bands and a C-clip, your loom, and a rainbow loom hook or crochet hook. Today I'll be using this crochet hook. So, to start, your loom needs to be in this configuration with the arrows pointing away from you. So just take your border color And just go out like that. And then go all the way up your loom with single rubber bands. Now, we will just going to go in on when we get to this point. We are now going to repeat on the other side. Using single rubber bands to begin, just go out. Then go all the way up your loom and then turn in. Using singles. This is your border. For now, we are not going to do anything in the middle. We are just working on our sides of our loop. Okay, so push this down. After you push that down, you're going to take your last two colors. And we're just going to be forming arrows. So just go up. And then like this. So we just went up with our first color. Now we're going out. With just uh, no, another color and out just like that so the arrow should be pointing away from us when we form it we will repeat all the way to our loom until you get to here just with a single rubber band going forward from here one going like that and then to close off our arrow like that going up with a pink with switching colors, like that, same color, like that. If you want to start um, from this side and put your band from here to here, instead of here to here first, it doesn't matter. You just need to put them on like this. But you do need to put your pink rubber band on first before you do your um, other rubber bands for um, these ones, the ones that go out on the diagonal. You need to put your pink first. Now we can do our...
if you want, you could do your creation, your bracelet rainbow with a white border and rainbow. Or you could just do it all one color if you just want that. So when you're just done with that, you're not going to do another arrow. You're just going to take your middle color, just put it forward. So we're almost done placing all of the rubber bands. Your loom should look like this. Take a border color, double it, place it on this peg. And now we're going to rotate your loom. So now those arrows that you formed should be pointing towards you. So your loom should look like this. Take your hook, go under, and grab that pink rubber band, hook it forward. This hook is too big, so actually now I will be using my rainbow loom hook. So after you've done that, go out, go back in, grab that rubber band that should be going out to the side, and it doesn't matter what side it is, just take it to where it goes. Now hook these up. Go under, grab that top red rubber band. It should be one of your arrow colors and go out. Doing the same on the other side. Now just your center one going up. Now you can't forget to hook these border colors after you have hooked that pink, your center color. You don't have, because then it will still turn out of a bracelet if you hook these after you did all your arrows, but it will not be a zippy chain. So continuing, going right here, grabbing your top rubber band pulling it to where it goes, next pulling it to where it goes, then just straight forward, and then you can't forget to hook these borders. You should see teardrops on these and your borders, so your reds and your borders, but this should just be circles. So continuing up your loom your borders, oh I forgot to hook this, then your border, grabbing the top rubber band, pulling it to the, the side, again pulling your next rubber band onto the side, then just straight up, and then your borders. That's the pattern you have to keep doing up your The looping process should be kind of easy because we use single rubber bands. It doesn't matter where your rubber bands go, which side, but just don't forget to hook your borders. Color. Continue. Keep going. And then your pink. And your white borders. And now doing these sides, your red and your pink. Now going under this peg into this peg inside and pulling this in and doing the same on the other side. Now grab the color that you would want your extension to be. 
Mine will be white for my border. Push these bands up and put your hook through. Grab that hook, grab that pink, put it on the tip of your hook. And, oh, sorry. And now you're just going to pull that through and put it, place it back onto your hook. And now you could take this off of the lily. It looks like this. So just pull it a little bit and you could pull that capping band to straighten out some of the rubber bands down here. Um, so now you could do your extension on the loom but I will just do it off the loom because for me it's a little bit quicker. Just like this. Put it on your hook. Pull this right through those loops. I will do five so that's my first. Second, third, fourth, one more time, fifth. So you're, it should look like this and then just Put this on your fingers, put this on your fingers like that and grab a clip. It's, it's okay if it's an oval clip or an S clip and put it onto these two. And then you could remove your fingers. Go to the very bottom of your creation you should see this doubled over capping rubber band. Just place the other side of your clip in on to there like that. So again, I did mine Valentine's colors. But you could have done a rainbow, anything. So, I hope you like, I hope you, I hope this helped you. Please like and subscribe to my video to my channel. Thanks for watching.